This video shows you how to use the Web of Science database in order to find journal articles. You can get to the Web of Science database from the Gerstein Science Information Center webpage, and the Gerstein Science Information Center is the Science and Biology Library for the University of Toronto. So the Web of Science is a large database which indexes thousands of journals across all the disciplines of science from agriculture through biology all the way to zoology. If I click on Web of Science, I'll get into the database directly when I'm on the St. George campus. If you are off campus or at home, at this point you will be asked to authenticate using your UTOR ID and UTOR ID password, which is the same login you use in order to log into the portal or your U of T webmail. So I'm going to be looking for journal articles about uh, which discuss why hawk moths have evolved such a long tongue or proboscis. So I'm going to start off by typing in hawk moth and I'm going to put an asterisk when I type it in. And what this is going to do, it's going to find instances of hawk moth or hawk moths appearing because sometimes authors may use the singular or the plural form of the, of the word. In addition, a, a good search tip when you're looking for any type of species, whether it's an animal species or a plant species, is to use both the common name as well as the Latin or the species name. So for this one it is Sphingidae, S-P-H, and I'm going to put an or in between these words because I would like the search engine to look for either the word hawk moth or the Latin term sphingidae. Both do not have to be present in my results. Hawk moth or sphingidae and I'm going to be also wanting in the results tongue or proboscis. So words which cover the same concept, so this is the concept of tongue, you would combine with the word or because I want tongue or proboscis. I don't have to have both words in the results. Just the same with hawk moth or sphingidae. Both do not have to be present, either one or the other. But different concepts should be combined with and. So I have the concept of the, of the animal, the hawk moth, and I'm combining with and with the concept of tongue because I want both of these concepts to be present in my results. What I'm also going to do is change the default setting of the second search box from author to topic so that it makes sense when I'm searching. I'm going to click search and when I look at my results I have 16 results and that's a pretty small number of results considering that the Web of Science indexes several thousand journals. And as I just look at the very first two results which are here on the right panel or the, for, or the second result actually, I see that the author has written hawk moth as one word and I hadn't done that when I did my search. So by looking at the results sometimes that can trigger ideas, other synonyms or other ways of writing uh, the concepts that I want to search for. So I'm going to go back to my search screen and I'm going to add in hawk moth as one word instead of as in addition to two. So I have three concepts, three words which cover the same concept, hawk moth or sphingidae or hawk moth. And I'm going to search that again. And my results have gone up by, by quite a number. So I went from 16 results up to 29. You can refine your, re refine your results further. If you just want to look at review articles, you can click at review and then refine. Re review articles give you a good background information about a topic. Or you can refine via subject areas if you're more interested in the ecology aspect or the evolutionary biology aspect. With just 29 results, I really do not need to refine further because it is actually quite easy and quite efficient to quickly look through 29 results. As I scroll down, if there's one that catches my eye, such as result number five, the geographical mosaic of coevolution in a plant pollinator mutualism. Now when I click on that title, 
I'm going to get to the abstract. And by reading the abstract, you can get a better idea of what the article is about, since the abstract is the summary of the main points of the journal article. And you can see the words that I searched highlighted in yellow. And in this, art in this citation, you can see hawk moth appears only as one compound word. So if I had just stayed with my original search, in which I had entered hawk moth as two separate words, I would never have found this, this result. So this citation shows you the article. It is published in the journal Evolution, and it gives you the volume number, the issue, the page numbers, as well as the year. So this one was published in 2008. It also tells you, since this article was published two years ago, it has been cited by 26 other articles. And if I, it shows you the first three articles, which have cited this one, the Geographical Mosaic, of coevolution and a plant pollinator mutualism. If I wanted to see all 26 of those ones which have cited, I would just click on this link. If I wanted to find the 39 articles which this one, which these two authors, Anderson and Johnson, cited when they wrote their article, I would click here to see the 39 ones which have been cited by this article, by the, by the article of interest. Now, if I want to see this full text article, and, and not just the abstract, I will click on this link that says Get It UTL. This tells me that the article should be available online, and we get the journal Evolution from three different sources, BioOne, Synergy Blackwell, Wiley Online. So if I click on the first one, BioOne, it brings me direct to the article level. So here is the article of interest. As I scroll down, you can see the full text article with the tables and images. And if I wanted to see this in PDF format, I would just look around to see where the PDF link is. And that was a quick overview of how to find a full text journal article from the Web of Science.